2019-2020 Illini basketball season had higher expectations than any season in more than five years. But some of those expectations were met, others were not. The year might forever be known as the what could have been season. I take a look back. It all started with a trip out west where the Illini went 1-1 one one in the state of Arizona, capped by a 22 turnover performance against the Wildcats. You know, we knew we were going to have some, some growth here early and go on the road and two great, great environments, and, and you knew you were going to get challenged. It's early, man. Uh, we got to take care of the ball, and, uh, and, uh, and we'll, we'll do that. We just, we just got to continue to get better. The Illini returned home and won four games in a row at the State Farm Center. Then they lost four of their next seven, including a 14 point meltdown at Maryland. I could not be prouder of my guys. I am. There was a lot of tears in there. There was a lot of, of hurt and that makes me feel good. That makes me that we I know we're on the right page and uh, we grew up we grew up a lot today. Through the slump Brad Underwood still had faith in what they were doing despite being nine and five. After a 20 point loss at Michigan State the Illini flipped a switch. It all started with an absolute drubbing of Purdue at home by 27 points. The winning continued on the road at Wisconsin, Purdue, and Michigan. It's the first time Illinois won at all three of those arenas since 2005. The only other time that has happened by any school in the last 27 years. It was that stretch that the legend of Io DeSumo really started to grow. I just want to get the last shot. I work on that move. I work on my mid-range game every day in practice. Like that, that's reputation. That's that's hard work and dedication. So when I got into my move, I was I was confident. Um, like I believed I was gonna make the shot. Illinois was riding high, 16 and five overall, eight and two in the Big Ten, and a tie for first. But a new round of tests started from there. A stretch of five games in a row versus ranked teams awaited, including three on the road. To make matters worse, in the middle of that run, Desumu went down with a leg injury. Illinois lost the first four games with Io missing the game at Rutgers. But the guard miraculously emerged from the locker room at Penn State and led the team to their biggest win of the season to date. We trust him. We know that he, he steps up and he makes tough shots and he makes tough plays. Um, he's, a real, he's a true leader and a true point guard and we just love when he's around. He gives us that confidence, that leadership. That win sparked the Illini to a strong finish to the season, winning five of their last six games and securing what would have been their first NCAA tournament berth since 2013. In all my years and however many more that I have in me, this this team will I will always remember. And it won't be because we didn't play in the NCAA tournament. And the NCAA tournament didn't happen. It'll be because of all the fond memories and all the hard work and all the character and and all of the the, the, the wonderful adjectives that go with a team. I had fun this year. We just launched our new WCIA 3 in 1 podcast. You can find it wherever you get your podcasts. It's also on our website, WCIA.com. There's no sports going on, but we had a lot to talk about in that podcast. It's almost an hour long. So uh, sit down and grab some popcorn and take a listen. Yeah, that's right. If you're sick of Netflix or Disney Plus, we got you covered. <laughs>